All right. Full disclosure. Hi, I'm Zios Pantera, your host of In Ear Fetish. And this is the second time I'm filming this review because I have the Thyaudio Elixir here. And I didn't know the cost. So I did like I do in other videos. I'm like, oh, I think it's about this to this. And then I looked it up and I was like, holy shit, that's twice as much as I want it to be. Because I like the Thyaudio Elixir. I really do. But it's more than the Legacy 3 and I don't think it's as good. It's got probably better low end. Here, let's take a look at it. It's got better low end than the Legacies. I was putting on and some Techmaster PEB came on. I was like, oh, oh. Put my Dakoni tips in there. But the whole presentation feels like it should be the budget. It should be the most budget Thyaudio. You got the little two wire. I haven't done like a Legacy a product in a while. The Clairvoyance. Like I know them for their higher end stuff. And they've got, here, the, the cheapest IM they've got apparently is a zero dollars and it's called the lego the the prestige don't know what that sold out the legacy 2 is 99 dollars. i figured this was to replace the legacy 2 because the legacy 3 the legacy 4 legacy 5 are all 100 120 250 things like 250 200 yeah so like my my goat is the clairvoyance at 739 dollars, and i know i got the legacy 3 i like the legacy 3 so much i got them custom printed for my ears. I got a custom mold. So I was figuring these were going to come down here and place the bottom line. But they're up here. They're between the Legacy 4 and the Legacy 5. They're $209. And if we go to them, strong pole magnets and a completely copper voice coil actuator. Mmm, yes. Mmm, yes. Very good. <sighs> Paramount resolution delivered smoothly. See, here's the thing. When I was thinking these were like the cheaper of the Thai audios, I thought it was a great concept because a mature sound. If these were coming after something like the uh, the Moondrop Aria, these have more sound stage, more creaminess to the mid range, and the low end is just. I feel I felt like this was going to be something that was going to sell you a higher end Thai audio. That's what this felt like. This felt like something you'd go out, you'd spend eighty to one hundred and twenty dollars on it, and you'd be like, oh, this new brand Thai audio. I've never heard of them. This is fantastic. These are amazing. Let me see where the measurements are. See that spike? I could feel that spike. Handcrafted care, quality at last. The build, it says this is a Litz cable. The build is like, all right, it's got a box. The box had a crease in it. It's like, the this is it. This is the box. It's cardboard in cardboard, black on black, with not much else to go with it. So I was just like, all right, it's got a couple tips. It's got like a bag of foams. They're all Thyaudio branded. There's no like brand names, no complies or anything. And then when I saw that $209, I was like, oh, mm. I'm trying to like work it out of my head if I think these are worth it. Because if you don't know what a Thyaudio IM sounds like, it'd be nice to get one that was affordable and you could use them and be like, oh my God, there's just flavors. There's hints of like... Smooth mid-range. I didn't know mood range could be this smooth. But then I put on like a really heavy song that's like thrashing. And I don't like them on this. Because that treble is just just tweaking a little bit. Just a little bit too much resolution out of it. Then the low end comes in and it like hits you. And it's like you're like, oh, oh imagine what would happen if I spent four times as much from this company. That's what I wanted to get out of this review. I wanted these to be $99 and I would give them a full fucking thumbs up. At two hundred nine dollars, I I think you could spend your money elsewhere and, and get more. See, I don't like everything, especially when I do the thing where I find the price out and I just have to like have an existential crisis of like, why are you doing this, me, Thaudio? I wanted to I wanted to give these a full reco. I was like in that mode of like full reco, and then the fucking brakes came on. I was like, wait a second, these are like eighty dollars more than I'd ever tell anyone to spend on them. Because it's a nice cable, but it's not like super nice. It's just a two wire. It twists. It doesn't even have interchangeable heads. For 50 bucks, you get the Chimera cable. By the way, link the Chimera cable in the description. It's only a two pin, so it's not like they don't have the option. They just went with such cheap, like the actual unit themselves have like stones here. There's like some like river stone uh, quartz wrapped in, in gold and or uh, rose gold. It's a nice built IM. It's nice. This doesn't match it. That's another thing. The wire is like a rose gold, but the connector on it is is silver. So nothing here. It all clashes. It doesn't fit together quite right. Like you got the wire, you got the thing, you got the black spacer there for the two pin. Then it comes into this, which is like 
a green river stone. So it's like, all right, I, I figured if they were going for like, all right, just throw together something really good, good enough that it intrigues people and cheap enough that we could sell it and make money. And what they did was throw together an IEM that I would absolutely recommend for $120. If you've never heard a, you've never heard of Thigh Audio, you want a good, you want a good IEM, like an entry level, this thing. At $210, I could list about nine different IEMs you should get instead. I mean, shit, Stellaris is $112. Here, big grape, black grape, a big day in the north from the Virtuosity soundtrack. Ideal song for these set for these things. The low end is 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 just pounding away, and it's got nice imaging and percussions. It's all very high end thigh audio. But then the heavy part of the song comes in when they start blasting horns at you, and I'm like, ooh, no, not really. Not really. Like I, that's what I was expecting. It was to be like, ooh, lull you in, get you into that fucking like mode of like, wow, this sounds amazing, and then it hurts a little bit. I'm like, why does it hurt? If I spend more, does it stop hurting? I know if you spend more, it stops hurting. Clairvoyance to so this moment. Have I redone the clairvoyance? It might be time to retro review the clairvoyance. I want to do at least two more IMs today, and it's been it's been a minute. It's been a hot minute since I pulled the clairvoyance out and like rubbed them on my body. I may have to do that. Are they in my box? Now I don't know where the clairvoyance are. Yeah, so my my estimation on the elixir here is they're two hundred dollars. I would probably get OH tens instead. I, I would probably get a bunch. You know what? I can't even think. I go to the box. You guys want to see the box? When the box fills up, by the way, the main channel gets a video on what's in the box. What's in the box? So these are all dynamics, except for those. Those are the AMTs, and these are all planars, and these are all the mixed bag. You know, two BAs and everything. So where the fuck are my clairvoyants? I'm going to be real pissed. Real pissed if I can't find those. Those are some of my faves. How do you see us lose a $700 set of IMs? Quickly. And without fuss. Anyway, I'm going to link to these. I've given them my, my evaluation. I only spent about an hour with them. Honestly, they burned it in the burning rig and I sat here and I'm like, all right, I'm just going to dig through my phone. And if I kept the volume quiet, they were completely acceptable. Nothing bothered me. As soon as you turned it up and you were doing like critical listening, anything above like 4,000 hertz is just too prom prominent. It just wants to come out and hurt me. So if you have absolutely like chill taste in music, buy away. You like low end and you kind of want the highs to hurt you a bit, buy away. I feel like they could have done better with it. I mean, it's not the worst. Let's just put it this way. It's not the... I've seen worse wires. This is still a nice wire. But I feel like the presentation was just way off. See, I have one of these videos every once in a while. It's just like, why, you know? If I'm going to guess the price and you're double the cost, even if it's something as low as $200, and I'm guessing you're going to be 80 to 100 that's twice as much. That's not nothing for someone looking for a hundred dollar IM. You tell them to spend twice as much to get something that kind of bothers me in the highs. So that's it. I'm I'm done with the elixirs. I'm gonna move on to something else, something Chinese maybe, or try to find the goddamn clairvoyance. Wallpaper in the hoard. Check out the uh, sponsor links in the video because sponsor links guarantee I could say some things are shit. Everything doesn't have to be great. I'll give you my honest opinion. Check the sponsor links. Check out Patreon and Subscribestar. See these IM reviews early. Maybe you're gonna buy these. Did you buy these? If you would have bought these, did you buy them the last week? Oh my God, you should have been on my Patreon and then you could have seen these videos a week early. Anyway, Patreon subscribe to so support the channel, see your reviews early, talk to me for $10 a month, get into the swap meet, all that other jazz. These will probably be in the yard sale where I'll ship them anywhere in the world and you could have them for whatever you think they're worth. Pay me $81.19 because that's what they're worth. They're worth that. 209 that's a fucking stretch. Good.